guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, today we're going to do a subscriber request. I received this question from Jeremy, and it's uh, somewhat complicated, okay? I've been asked to kind of take it up a notch and do more complex or somewhat intermediate tutorials, and I think this one fits uh, nicely, okay? So what's the deal? Um, when you create an endcloth object in Maya and you export it to use it in another application, it gets distorted. And I'll show you. And then obviously I'll show you the solution. Okay. So I'm quickly going to create a table. I'm just going to hit R, scale that out, push that down, and then right click, take face, edit mesh, extrude. Like that, hit G to repeat, W to pull down. All right, so there's our table. Okay, right click object mode and we'll pull that up like so. Okay, we're going to create a tablecloth this guy. All right, so we're going to take a polygon plane, pull that up, hit R, scale that out. Let's give it some subdivision. Let's do 30 by 30. Okay, I'm going to select my cloth. I'm going to go to Evix, to end cloth and create end cloth. And then I'm going to select my tablecloth, shift select my table, and go to end cloth and create passive collider. So now if I play on my animation, the cloth will fall down and it will wrap on my table like so. All right. Okay, so this is the object that I want to uh, export, okay? So I'm going to select this guy, I'm going to go to File, and I got it selected, so I'm going to go to Export Selection, Option Box. I want to export it as an FBX, okay? Export Selection, and we'll call this Tablecloth 1, and Export, okay? Now we're going to delete this guy. I'm going to go to Window Outliner, make sure that everything is gone. So I only got my table left. All right. And I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to look for my table cloth. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, way at the end. All right. And Import. Okay. So as you can see, not exactly what I expected, right? Okay, so let's redo that. We're going to take this guy. We're going to get rid of it. Once again, we're going to go to Window Outliner. Make sure we've got nothing else going on. Just our table. And we're going to do that again. So we're going to take a polygon plane. Hit W. Pull that up. Hit R. Scale that out. Let's give that, let's say, 30 subdivisions. Like so. All right, I'm going to go to end cloth, create end cloth, shift select or select our, uh, our tablecloth and shift select our table and go to create passive collider. We're going to hit play once again. Hang on, wait until it's at the beginning. There we go. And we're going to hit stop right there. Okay. So now we're going to select our tablecloth. We're going to go up to Edit, delete by type, history. We're going to go to modify, freeze transformations. And the next step, we're going to go to windows and outliner. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our nucleus. We're going to take our rigid body and our end cloth. And we're going to delete that. Okay. But we're not there yet. We're going to go up to display. We're going to go to shapes. We're going to turn that on. And when we do that, if you now hit this guy and this guy, you see that in here you have two objects. You have your plane and your output, okay? We're going to select the plane, which is our original shape, right? And we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to leave the output cloth, okay? So we're going to delete that, all right? We're going to close that out. We're going to select this guy. We're going to go to File and Export Selection. Once again, as an FBX, and then this case we'll call it tablecloth 2 export selection 
we're going to take our cloth, get rid of it, make sure our outliner is clean. Yep, okay. And we're going to go to File, Import, and we're going to take our tablecloth too, and hit Import. And there you go. So that's how you do it. Uh, hopefully that works for you guys. If you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.